What does the future of the car look like? Well, maybe it looks like this. That's right, a van. Now you'll have to ignore the jazzy camo all over it because behind it is one of the most exciting new cars of the year. It's the Volkswagen ID Buzz. And here's what you need to know. It's all electric. Well, duh, it's based on the same underpinnings as the ID3 and ID4, which means it has a 77 kilowatt hour battery, feeding power to a 204 horsepower electric motor driving the rear wheels. The range, well, hopefully around 250 miles. At the moment, I'm 95% full and I've got 200 miles and it's a cold day. The ID Buzz comes in two guises. This one is a five seat family hauler, but you'll also be able to have an ID Buzz cargo, which gives you another seat up front, but ditches those in the back and fills in the rear windows. Both versions come with sliding doors on either side, but don't worry if you want more versatility, other versions will come somewhere down the line with longer wheelbases and bigger batteries for more range, probably with twin motor setups, so maybe with up to 400 horsepower. It recreates the vibe of the original. Well, I used to have an original and the vibe that gave me was usually stranded and miserable at the side of the A30. But the surf truck vibe is right. This should be traveling made fun. It's as big as a Caravelle. Well, almost. It's about 200 mil shorter, about 30 mil lower, and about 60 mil wider. Unfortunately, I can't show you the interior because it's a camo car, it's a prototype. It's all covered in a big sheet at the moment, but it feels good in here. Windscreen is miles away from you and you've got, it feels like a football goal. You sort of look into that whole area. It's all glassy and lovely. It's brilliant to drive which is to say that electric really suits it because you never bought a van for its engine character and charisma. You were just impressed by its diesel economy. But electric feels really good in a van. It feels so smooth and capable and easy to drive. And yeah, you've still got the all important Caravelle touches of a very sort of slightly upright and commanding driving position. And most importantly of all, armrest to rest your elbows on. These things are so comfortable to do distance in. One potential drawback if you do towing though. The Caravelle has a two and a half ton capacity. This only just over one ton. It's the SUV of the future. Yes, it's likely to start at about 50,000 pounds, so ballpark SUV money, and that may sound expensive, but the Caravelles and this have an ace up their sleeve. If you look at their residual values, they hold their money very, very well indeed. And doesn't it look like a brighter, cleverer solution for the future than your average SUV? It's less pretentious, less aggressive, and better at delivering the greatest luxury of all for a family car, space. The electric age needs a new shape, a new style. Here it is.